I'm gonna try and not get emotional. I had a lady, she was 71 years old. She has some mental health issues. And consequently, there was some issues between her and her neighbors. It was a friction, typical neighbor stuff. And they wanted her out of the community. And so what they did was they filed a report of a criminal threat. They said that she threatened them with a knife. I'm gonna be honest, reading the reports, I'm not 100% sure I buy it. Because one, this lady, like I said, 71 years old, she's got mental health issues. They had actually admitted to being in her house at one place. So now she's basically charged felony criminal threats. That's a felony, right? She's looking at a minimum three years in jail, fines and fees. And to be honest, she doesn't quite understand really why she's in this situation. So I actually went to the prosecutor today, went all the way up to the what's called the DIC. And I talked to him about the situation. I'm like, look, she's been in custody since four months from today. And the reason why is she's so ill, she couldn't make it to any of her court appearances. They basically uh, slapped her with a $70,000 bail. And she's a section eight holder, which means she has no income, she's on disability. Her public defender did nothing for her. I laid out the fact that a lot of the witnesses changed their stories between talks with the police. I got them to reduce to a misdemeanor and she went home today. I have been talking to her daughter almost every day, keeping her updated on the case. And I got to make that call today, come get your mom. Oh my God. She would 100% be in jail today without us.